I feel like we hit the lottery at Heaven Hill. We got the William Heaven Hill 17 year, 17 years old. That's crazy old. It's 120 proof. It is a distillery only. We waited in line for hours in the snow, in the rain to get this bottle, right? Like the last day of the year. We got really, 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 really lucky. It retails at around $270. So out the door, it was like 290 bucks. That's a lot of money for a bourbon. It is 17 years old and it is a special bottle, but is it that special? Well, let's dive in. Let me get into my review. Here we go. Cheers to you. Thank you for being here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have not subscribed yet, be sure to leave a comment. If this is something that you would love to try to wait in line for at Heaven Hill, let me know. Or if you're like, I'm gonna leave that one for all those crazy people, you can let me know that too. Let's dive into this one. Let me smell it, taste it, tell you the finish, give you my score, and we'll see if this was really worth waiting in line for hours to find out that we got this bottle, which is crazy enough because Heaven Hill does not tell you which bottles they're gonna release at any given time. You just go stand in line, and if you get lucky, you get lucky, or you could walk away with nothing, which has happened to us before. So let's dive into this one, see if it's worth all the trouble to get this bottle, and for all that money, it's really expensive. So again, this is 17 year old bourbon, straight bourbon whiskey. It's 120 proof. Now let's go. Here we go. Oh yeah. Now on the nose. On the nose, this is oaky. I get this cream soda tingliness, vanilla. I get this amazing note of like a Tootsie Roll, you know, the little chewy Tootsie Rolls, they're so good. And then it's also met with this crazy note that I get of Smarties. Seriously, Smarties. I definitely get Smarties on the nose. Overall, it smells good. It smells balanced. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly spicy. It doesn't burn the nose hairs. And also, it it's not over oaked. Because you think when you hear 17 years old, you might think, oh my gosh, that is really old. It might smell incredibly oaky. But overall, it doesn't smell insanely oaky right off the bat. So let's taste it. Mm. That is fantastic. When it hits your mouth, you get this like rush of oakiness. You get that vanilla, caramel, that creamy tingliness that I talked about, like that cream soda. Like, you know, when you take a drink of carbonated soda, it kind of dances on the tongue. It's like sugar, caramelized sugars, vanilla's caramels, that Tootsie Roll note. And then on the very back end, you get that warmth. You get that really nice warmth and that Smarties note. Again, I'm getting that Smarties note and also some toffee. Let me taste it again. It's warm and inviting. It definitely, I mean, you can tell it's 120 proof. It doesn't drink lighter. I will say the first time I drank this, like the first few pours I had of this, I was like, whoa, that does not drink like 120 proof. But right now, this is my first pour of the day and it definitely is drinking a little bit warmer than I remember it drinking. But it is fantastic. Like I really like the nose, the palate, the finish of this. The finish is still sitting there. Like I still get that tingliness, that sweet oak, something that you definitely know was aged. You can tell, you can definitely tell it was aged. Um, it's really, really interesting because when I first tried this and same thing with Bill, when he first tried this, we were like, we paid $290 out the door for that bottle. Holy crap. That was oh, very underwhelming. But then it's crazy because as I'm drinking it now, the more I drink of it, the more I taste it, the more I smell it, it has amazingly opened up. Like it is world's difference from the first time I tried it. And I am so glad because I was like, man, that would suck to get a bottle like this and spend all that money and then just be disappointed because there were no reviews out there on this. Like I know there are a few popping up here and there now, but there were no reviews. So when we knew that we were getting the bottle, we just bought it because it's like, distillery only you only get one shot at this bottle it's a really special limited release and so of course you have to buy it well i mean you don't have to but we had to in this case we're like we're not missing out we're getting this bottle so let's talk about the score on this and then i'll go into whether or not whether or not i think it's worth the money the score i'm going to give this one is four and a half corks out of five 
It's fantastic. It's so delicious. So much better than I tried it the first time. It really has a great nose palette finish and I would highly recommend this. If you wanna go wait in line and try your luck at getting this, then albeit, I think they've released it maybe three times in the like entire last year. Not that easy to get and you're not gonna find it on store shelves anywhere. Now, when it comes to the cost of this bottle, there are a few different ways I kind of feel about it. I feel like it's valuable because it was an experience and we like got super excited to get the bottle and it was so awesome. And it was just like, this is a once in a lifetime kind of bottle. Like you're not gonna be able to get it. So the value in that is really high. Experience and waiting and all that, that's priceless. Getting to talk to people in the community and waiting in line and just being out there. It's the experience and that's what's valuable. Now the cost of the bottle, $290 out the door with tax everything. Is it worth $290? I mean, it has to be a super unicorn bottle for me to want to spend $290 on it. Like if it was just like, say, I don't know, Elijah Craig C923. I gave that four and a half corks out of five, just like this bottle. It's fantastic, it's delicious, but it's under a hundred dollars. This is $290 and has the same score. Now, like I said, the experience and the value of the experience was worth it to me. It might not be worth it to you to spend $290 on this bottle. I think it's more of like in the range of $150 to $200. That's what I think the value is of this bottle. But that's my own personal opinion on it. I think that if you get the chance to buy this bottle, buy it. If you have that money, go buy it, go get it, and enjoy it. And that's what we're going to do with this one. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Dara. I'm your average drinker, and I'll see you next time.